foremost, Surangama. Surangama is a Sanskrit word that means the ultimate durability of all phenomena. All phenomena refers to everything, all the mountains, rivers, the great earth, buildings, people and things, as well as all creatures born from worms, from eggs, from moisture and by transformation. When one plumbs all things to their unchangeable source, one obtains the basic substance of samadhi, the samadhi of the sacred cause. When one obtains the samadhi of the sacred cause, one can then be certified as having attained the complete meaning. When one is certified as having attained the complete meaning, one then cultivates the six paramitas and the myriad practices of a bodhisattva and thereby attains the great practice. When one has attained the great practice, one can then accomplish the samadhi of the ultimate durability of all things, which is the great result. The great Buddha Samhita then refers to the wonderful advantages of the four kinds of greatness, the great cause, the great meaning, the great practice, and the great result. They can also be called the wonderful cause, the wonderful meaning, the wonderful practice, and the wonderful result. However, wonderful doesn't describe them completely, and so the word great is used. The ultimate durability of all phenomena refers to samadhi. Without samadhi, the body and mind are distracted and do not work in harmony. You may decide to go south, but your legs refuse to obey. You end up walking north. Or you may want to do good deeds, but you lose control and somehow end up committing crimes instead. A lack of consistency or constancy in carrying things out is also evidence of a lack of samadhi. In studying the Suragama Sutra, everyone should be firm, sincere, and constant. You should firmly resolve, I am determined to study until I understand the principles of the Suragama Sutra. You shouldn't stop in the middle of the road and turn around to go back. You shouldn't hit the drum to adjourn the meeting prematurely. Do not draw the line when you've come only halfway. Don't say, ah, I've studied so many days and haven't understood yet. This is extremely difficult material. I don't think I'll study it anymore. With sincerity, you can study in earnest and can keep your mind on what you are doing. You are so delighted by study that all worries are forgotten. You study so industriously that you forget to eat. When you lie down at night to sleep, at, to sleep, no thoughts arise other than those of the doctrines in the sutra. With constancy, you don't study for a few days and then back out, feeling that studying the Buddha drum is dry and uninteresting. You don't decide to go play in the park or find some good entertainment. You don't think excuses. There's no practical value in studying this stuff. It's antiquated in this scientific age. And then run away. Without constancy, you lack ultimate durability. With the cultivation of these three firmness, sincerity, and constancy, you can be ultimately durable and gain samadhi power. With samadhi power, you will not be turned by states. You won't be controlled by your environment. This is a general explanation of the specific title of this sutra. Sutra. To translate the Sanskrit word sutra, the Chinese used the character that means to tolly because a sutra tollies above with the principles of all Buddhas and below with the opportune circumstances for teaching all living beings. Sutra is also defined as a path, for it can lead ordinary people to the position of Buddhahood. Sutra has four further meanings, stringing together, attracting, constant, and method. A sutra sing, strings together the meanings within it, like beads strung on the thread. It attracts the beings for whom the teaching will be opportune, the sutras present the dharmas appropriate to the particular needs of beings as medicine 
is prescribed to cure specific illnesses. The sutra is like a magnet and living beings are like the iron feelings which are attracted to the magnet. The Suragama Sutra is like a magnet, so it is called durable. But the Suragama Sutra is even stronger than the magnet. It can keep people from falling ever again. Thus, it gathers in living beings so that they cannot possibly fall again into the realms of the hells or turn into hungry ghosts or change into animals. They are magnetized so that even if they want to run away, they can't. Even if they want to fall, they won't be able to. That's how wonderful the sutras are.